Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, we got VeChain and Cardano updates every single day. Hit that subscribe button. Leave about full five comments down below. You guys have really been killing it with the comments. I really appreciate it. I got my hot tea and honey lot and loaded ready to go. Let's get the show started, guys. We got some rapid fire updates. Not too much going on in the VeChain and Cardano ecosystem, but I'm going to keep you updated anyway, guys. Um, take a look at the price. Uh, hovering around the six cent mark. Um, when in doubt, zoom out, guys. Still kind of leveling off. I just think that you know, once Bitcoin turns back around, things are gonna get back to where they need to go. Sentiment right now is a little bit bearish. Well, actually, a lot bit bearish, and a lot of people are losing their nerve, and that's to be expected. But you know, at the end of the day, we're gonna make it, guys. You know, we can't expect thousand percent gains and not have a correction a lot of coins some coins are down 90 percent some coins are down 95 percent we've been hit hard but again we expected this that if a dip were to was to occur you know we could go down 50 60 70 percent and it looks like we're down 70 percent from all-time highs the all-time highs were a couple week couple months ago guys so you know we're we're not done v chain's not done we're still you know chugging along still gaining partnerships things are gonna be okay all right guys so i could just sense it around the community people are flipping and it doesn't really make much sense to me around this time is the time you should be buying at all times um but hey you know people are gonna get happy when numbers green and number goes up People get scared when number go down. It's just, you know, the nature of things. And that's the way how emotions are used to play the market. Okay, so we're just going to remain even keeled. We're going to continue to stack VeChain. We're going to continue to stack Cardano. We're going to continue to stack our favorite cryptos and chill and ride it out, guys. You could say that we are in a bear market now, maybe, if you want to say that, but... You can still earn money in a bear market. There's still lots of money to be made. <clears throat> you should be staking your coins now. You should probably be buying coins to stake. Heck, buy VeChain, stick it in your sync wallet and forget about it. You'll be earning Vito every single day. Take a deep breath. Crypto's gonna be here tomorrow. It's gonna be here next week. It's gonna be here next year. And we don't know what the future holds for us, all right guys? On to the first story of the day, we got the wonderful Eisenreich here, VeChain Pro Volume 24. VeChain has cooperated with the Younghee brand for the past two years, tracing nearly 800,000 bottles of liquor products and co-founded by the Shanghai Liquor Blockchain Alliance as early as 2017. Adoption is here, guys. People are actually using VeChain and, you know, we just need to, you know, be mindful of how we're feeling in these times, guys. Take a look at how you were feeling la two months ago when we were at all-time highs. It was the opposite, literally the opposite of how most of you guys are feeling right now. Your emotions are that easily manipulated. Your emotions are that easily um, manipulated. That's the correct word. Two months ago, everybody was extremely high on VeChain. Nothing has changed. Uh, you know, they didn't rug pull, nothing happened, Sunny Lou didn't just say peace out, I'm dipping out with all your money, nothing like that happened. As a matter of fact, we've gained more partnerships. We're tracking and tracing babies now. You know, we have a whole entire city of Senzu on VPAT, on a, a VTrust. VTrust is being used by an entire Chinese providence. Nobody wants to talk about that. Only thing they want to talk about is price this, price that, um, the price don't move, why number don't move, herder, herder. Like, come on, man. It's even happening to OGs. Now, I ain't trying to start no drama. I like Booster Yoda. This man here puts out great V chain information. But he's even susceptible. This person is even susceptible to sideways action to FUD to the price moving down I mean my man's wrote a whole thread here and I have to disagree with the gentleman respectfully I have to respectfully disagree with them V 
V chain down three thirteen point two billion in three months. Everyone's looking for hope. Sooner we can start producing mill millions of real world transactions, the sooner we can break away from BTC and promote stability. We have no action, no communication, no results, just dirt cheap transactions at low volume. I'm gonna have to disagree, my brother. Proof of authority 2.0 has not come out yet. Okay, we still have a lot more companies to onboard. Uh, we're getting news each and every week about another providence, another country, another, you know, this, that, another hospital working on the V chain Thor blockchain. So you cannot say that there's no action. You cannot say that there's no results. All right, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just the market is the market. The market is going to go up. The market is going to go down, guys. And especially with, you know, these magic internet coins. We know that VeChain has the potential to explode. Literally, VeChain could explode at any second. It could go up like XRP did at any freaking second. We already know this. All right? But it also could go down. It also, you know... It also could go down. It's already gone down almost 80%. It could go down more. It could go to one cent. Like, we already know that, guys. We are playing with an extremely volatile asset here because <clears throat> the crypto market does not know how to price this innovation. Then he says, personally, it would make me sick if I was part of the leadership team. We want to talk about global adoption, valuable transactions, helping the people. However, the entire project is a complete roller coaster of misinformation and clar no clarity with reassurance of the future. I don't believe that. I think, my mans, you have been a victim of FUD. You're a victim of the moment right now, my guy. And it, it, I just, I wanted to post this to show that even the most battle hardened, even the most OGs of OGs can have these feelings, but that's okay. Okay, you can have these feelings, but what are you going to do about it? Are you going to sell your V-Chain now that we're down? Or are you going to figure out why you bought V-Chain in the first place and continue with the plan? Okay? I bought V-Chain because I saw that they were partnering with Walmart of China. I see where Internet Industry 4.0 is going. Data is the new oil. And... <clears throat> VeChain has a working product that is focused on Fortune 500 companies in order to enhance blockchain adoption. They're putting themselves in the right space. Okay? So, then he goes on to post, yes, the whole market is down, of course. Why does VeChain have to be a part... Ah, uh, shoot. Why does VeChain have to be a part of the market? If you're really building a global solution, you should be able to first break away from the elementary market trends. Guys, right now, nothing's decoupling from Bitcoin right now, okay? It's just the way it is. There's a lot of fear in the market. You know when there's fear, people sell out of their altcoins and put them into Bitcoin. It's always happened, okay? And until the flipping occurs, it will always happen. You can't, you can't put that on VeChain. If you're really going to be a first-class global company, something has to change. I would start with communication to stakeholders. I think they've been very transparent. And another thing, too, we're not stakeholders. <laughs> we are not stakeholders, guys. All right? We do not own shares of VeChain. Okay? We own some of the network and we own some of the voting, but they are not entitled to give us any investor information. If they were... You know, they have to register with the SEC and they need to go through the regulatory requirements. They have not. So any information that they give us is information that they did not have to give us. OK, so that's the risk in crypto. I know that we're all angry in the in the community. I know that, you know, this has been rough. But again, just think about how we were feeling two months ago, guys. Don't let a number on the screen, a red number on the screen, dictate how you feel about your favorite cryptos. I'm going to be thinking the opposite. I'm looking for deals. I'm looking for steals. I'm looking for the next coin that I could put, you know, some cash in to work for me around this time. And, you know, we're just going to buy low. That's it. 
buy low. If it goes low, we're going to buy more. Think about it like this, guys. <clears throat> Let's just say, I don't know, you're a shoe collector. And you see this brand of Jordans that you've been eyeing for the past six months. And you've just been thinking about these Jordans every single day. Um, and you're like, oh, man, I can't wait to buy. The price is $300 right now. And let's just say one day, these Jordans are 75% off. What are you going to do? You're going to be like, oh, no, well, the price is too low. I got to wait till it goes back up and then buy them again. Like, come on, guys. Markets are markets. You buy low, you wait, and then you sell high. I mean, I don't know uh, what else to say, <clears throat> but Booster Yoda, man, I really, really respect your brother. But got, just take it. You might need to take a break. Okay, you might need to take a break. You might need to put the phone down. You might need to put crypto down for a week or two. Things are gonna be okay. Things are not as bad as you say it is. We're gonna be fine. All right, man. Take a break. We'll still be here. I still appreciate you putting out that heat, that fire. Continue to do so, man. Don't lose faith. We're gonna be all right. All right, man. It's getting to all of us, man. It's getting to all of us. I'm telling you. <clears throat> That's why I say remain even keeled. We got cream method here. Asian boy crypto posted something cool. He posted Pro proof of authority 2.0. .2 Summer, possibly June, July. It's probably going to be more towards August. Coinbase listing unannounced. DHL Expo in June, unannounced Salesforce question mark. And then we got China carbon credit and trading end of June. If you're capitulating now because of Bitcoin's price action, you might be missing out big time. And I would agree. Again, guys, nothing fundamentally with VeChain has changed. <clears throat> I know some people are like, oh, well, you know, you reduced the, the gas price on the blockchain. That's not going to matter. Yeah, it has short-term price implications, guys. But again, if VeChain goes to 50 cents, people are going to be like, how do I buy Vetho? How do I buy Vetho? Trust me, the FOMO and the greed will always win out. Okay? That's why I say, take a snapshot of how you're feeling right now when VeChain's at 6 cents. And what I want you to do is try to remember how you felt when, when it was 28 cents. People thought that VeChain could not go down. We were going up forever. And then when we started to go down, the sentiment changed. <clears throat> it's so easy to sway emotions in this market. And the people that get emotional, they sell. And the people that don't get emotional, they hodl and then they become rich. It's as simple as that. And then China Carver Credit System trading at the end of June. <clears throat> Cream method here, post five. So I don't know what's going on. Are we <clears throat> a part of the carbon credit market? I have not heard anything. No one said anything. Um, I, I'm trying to put my nose to the grindstone. I'm trying to connect dots. I don't want to be a perpetual dot connector, but, you know, I'll, I'll wait. And if I hear something, I'll let you guys know. Here's a list of V-Chain partners. Uh, it's almost endless. From financial logistics, tech, fashion, and more, a list of the enterprises keep growing. <clears throat> we see a bright future for Vitho and VChain. Got a list of a lot of the partners here, guys. I think this is a short list, too. It's not even all the partners that we have. And they're growing each and every day. All right, guys. So we got to remember that this is a market just like anything else. And things go up, things go down, especially in this market when, you know, <clears throat> pricing innovation, pricing future value of Internet of Things companies is extremely difficult. Okay, so we're going to make it, guys. Just trust me. I know I sound crazy. I know I sound like, what is this guy talking about? V-Chain is down 70%. We've been here before. And guess what, guys? We're going to be here again. You think this is tough? <clears throat> Excuse me. My um, allergies are flaring up today. I got to get some Claritin. But you think this is tough, guys? What happens if we go to a dollar 
and then we drop all the way back to 20 cents. You want to think the FUD is bad now? You want to think people losing their nerve now? Wait then. You think this is bad? Wait till we get to $5. <clears throat> and then V-Chain drops all the way down to a dollar. Dollar fifty. Ooh, boy. The FUD will be at an all-time high at that point. And then, if everything is realized and we can... We get a couple of big breaks here. Wait till we get to eighteen dollars and we drop all the way, <clears throat> all the way down to two dollars. Lord have mercy. You want to talk about people freaking out? You want to talk about people jumping ship? You want to talk about fud? Lord have mercy. You ain't seen nothing yet. You thought this was gonna be easy? This generational technology, this way that we could push the power to the edges you thought this was going to be easy huh you thought it was going to be a straight line up with no type of resistance no type of patience involved well sir you're sadly mistaken <clears throat> tell me what thing that's changed the world that went smoothly you think amazon went smoothly all 20 years that it was made before it blew up you think Microsoft, Apple, everything went smoothly, 100%. You didn't think that investors were mad at Apple or you don't think investors were mad at Amazon sometimes because they didn't move fast enough? I watched an interview. <clears throat> I watched an interview with Jeff Bezos. And I think it was like in 2005 or something. It was an old interview. And Jeff Bezos was interviewed, and this guy was like, investors aren't happy right now with Amazon because you guys are spending way too much money. Could you explain that? And then he went on to say, you know, well, we're spending money, but we're growing and blah, blah, blah. And then the, the guy was like, well, investors are saying, investors are saying, investors don't know shit. Okay? I'm just gonna be straight up. <clears throat> A lot of us in the crypto market, guys, we're faking it till we're making it, all right? A lot of this stuff is experimental technology that could fail at any single moment. I keep telling you guys this. So we gotta go into it with, I'm either all in, <clears throat> I'm halfway in, or I'm just not gonna participate, okay? And that's okay, if you cannot handle the heat, please sell your V-Chain to me, I'll go ahead and safe keep it, and you go on and live your life, buy bonds. Get your 2% a year, it's okay, you could do that. All right? But but I, me, Satoshi Boomin, I'm gonna continue to buy digital assets. That's just what I'm gonna do. So, that's that guys. I ain't got no more speeches for you today. I'm just, I, I, I just see the FUD. <clears throat> I see the downness. I see people getting scared. I see people getting bored. Okay. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin block having The other Bitcoin block having. I like that one better. But this one, uh, that, that website is down for some reason. We got uh, 800, 982 days. <clears throat> All you need to do is be patient. That's it. That's it, guys. The cycle is gonna start over again. When this when this counts down, and we got 200 days left, we got 100 days, we got 50 days, you're gonna start to see Bitcoin having videos all over the place. People are gonna get excited. Nothing's gonna happen on the having day, but two or three months after the having day, things are gonna start exploding, okay? It happened Twice before, it's gonna happen again, I think. And the cycle is gonna start over, in my humble opinion. And this is just the 2024 having. Lord have mercy. What happens in the 2028 having? I think the world's gonna be drastically different. <clears throat> and in these down times, guys, in these sideways moving times, you should be focusing on accumulating staking coins, okay? <clears throat> You can stake your ETH on Ethereum, on uh, Coinbase, for about 4%. You need to be staking. I know you can stake Polkadot. 
Put your V-Chain in your Sync Wallet and let it sit. Cardano, you need to be staking your ADA. Algo, 4% on Coinbase. You can get more on that on the Algo wallet. Celsius. Guys, I'm going to do a whole video on Celsius. I've been getting, during this downturn, I've been getting interest on my Bitcoin. I've been getting interest on my Algo. <clears throat> There's a lot of ways you can make money in a market that's going sideways. Tezos, you can stake that. Synthetics Network Token. You can get 13% on Celsius with Synthetics. There's a lot of ways you can make money, guys. You just got to shift your mindset. Okay? Prices are going down. Hmm, how can I make money? Staking. Prices are going up. Hmm, how can I make money? Maybe take us some profits. Markets are the markets. Time in the market beats time in the market. I ain't got nothing else for you guys. I love y'all. Try not to get discouraged. We're going to make it. We've been here before. We're gonna be here again. Okay, this is not this this is not the last time our favorite cryptos are gonna be down 70% and moving sideways for months on end. It's not the first time. And it won't be the last. <gasps> wow. Who would have thought? <clears throat> okay, just gotta get through it. We're gonna make it. I love you. Don't let your memes be dreams. Come join me at the Cardano video, guys. Have a great day.